Every year, polluted air in India's capital city between November and January contributes to the deaths of thousands of people, including children. Although air pollution in New Delhi has long been a problem, how the haze develops has been poorly understood. Uh, you'll have uh, very clear light nights in Delhi sometime, but then there are other nights where just things will develop very fast, maybe starting with 5 p.m. By midnight, you will start seeing that appearance of haze, and then by wee hours in the morning, you will find that there is there's really a thick haze. Scientists know how pollutants become more dangerous in sunlight when gases react and lead to smog, as has been documented in Beijing. But it wasn't clear what was happening at night in New Delhi. So chemists in the city deployed 1,400 sensors on rooftops to monitor the air. What they found surprised them. As the temperature dropped and humidity rose, minute particles grew fast, forming ultra-fine ones, ten thousandths of the width of a human hair. They were mostly made up of organic molecules. So the scientists realized they must have come from vapor from burned materials, like wood. The molecules turned to vapor, then condensed like seeds in the cool air, then grew in the presence of water. That connection had not been known before. Whatever is getting burned or you know, being combusted in and around Delhi, it's simply contributing to this haze formation. The process peaked after midnight before tapering off as commuters headed to work before 9 a.m. when the haze was thickest. Now that the transformation is understood, it could help city planners and public health and aviation officials. But some say they face substantial challenges. We don't have infrastructure to uh, provide heating to the low-income population of the city. We don't have infrastructure to provide train cooking as of now, and we're building it. As long as these problems are not solved, biomass burning is not going away. It's data that may also prove useful to a world that is seeing more wildfires near more population centers every year. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.